Okay, so here's the restart of the restart on the little pump here in the front of the house. I started uh, breaking down this wall and the guys were helping me, but then they said they were going to go home to get a bar to break this down, which they didn't need, but it was lunchtime, so okay. And that's been some time ago. Hopefully they just took a long lunch and they will be back, but uh, today is Saturday. Don't know. It could go either way. We're in Thailand. So anyway, what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear some of this stuff, push it up that way, clean it up a little bit here, and uh, we'll take that dirt and pile it up out here so it can go on top of this thing here. And then what I'll do is I will buy some of this grass and put it on there. Decided after some time that we needed to put some grass on here because the OG gets up in here and he wants to dig in to stay cool and next thing you know this whole area is full of dirt and gravel. Yeah. All right. Well, let me get busy with that and uh, we'll see if this guy come back or not. All right. Okay, so here we are. That dirt is being excavated and put up here so I can level this thing up and put some grass in there later on. They've already carried a whole bunch of blocks over here. Here's the mortar mix that's uh, being mixed and uh, used to put those blocks up. So back there where he's digging, it's going to be three compartments. Two for the filter and one for the water coming back in to the um, little pond here. Kind of like a waterfall type of thing. And then after it's all done, it'll be rendered. And uh, we'll have some of that... Uh, Crocodile add mix to it, so hopefully it will help waterproof this thing. All right, we'll show you as it goes. Okay, so it's coming along. This is as high as it's going to be, one block all the way around. And here, they put a concrete base. And then they're going to have to build the block all in here. Now, these blocks laying in here is where the little walls will go. Here you will have uh, three compartments. Two for filtering and one to return the water back into the little pond yeah and of course you're gonna have two pipes one on that compartment and one on this compartment and uh, a pipe will be fitted in here and whenever you want to empty them you just pull it out and uh, it'll drain so the bottom will be flush with that 90 degree angle there and there you have it. All right, we'll see what happens after a while. Okay, so here's the end of the day. And uh, this top layer is on. This is on, and this will be the little waterfall. And then here, I stopped them because they had put the blocks up here up against the fence then they couldn't render the blocks and then the the um, the fence would always have moisture and uh, would rust and what have you 
so I had them take this down and put this block in here then after it dries what they will do is they will cut this little section off of there yeah and uh, this will be one little compartment this will be another little compartment and then this will be the third compartment as you can see there will be the bottom of the floor and uh, it'll be the drain and then from there we will have a pipe coming up above the water level yeah and then here you can see that pipe coming out well once this water once this uh, mortar dries they can cut a lot easier than right now because it's just it'll fall down and then this will go in there this will sit out here towards the corner and come out yeah so that'll be that what you got okay so there it is uh, We'll see what happens on Monday. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow they will be off. And they'll come back on Monday. All right. Okay, so here we are. Going to do a little bit of rendering on this thing. And then add a some cement to the bottom this was done yesterday and the idea is the water will come in here go out to here and come out the little waterfall there same thing here down here in the bottom Got that pipe the floor will be brought up to there okay. it's on the other side this pipe here goes over to that tank right there so the same thing will happen it'll get it'll get filtered on this tank and that outside tank and be fed back into the pond a little tank through the middle and then of course if I want to drain this I'll pump it into the filters and out these pipes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those pipes there and bring them up this way and run them along here and out into the street which they won't be drained very often so it'll be okay all right we'll see what happens okay so here we have what was done yesterday but i had places to be so i didn't record it i was pressed for time so anyway they did uh, this little section here they did this section here but it's not connected now today i'm going to have them put some cement up to there now unless you add a special additive it kind of struggles hanging onto the metal but it's a very small section so i'm hoping that by hanging onto both sides of the cement it'll be okay the other thing i'm going to have them do is um, fix this here because I want it flush just like it is over here because like I said before this is going to be cement all the way down and then all this dirt is going to be moved from here yeah then on this side here they did this they did the inside 
They did this and they also did this wall here. On this side, this was blended in here. I might have to go and check that wall over there. It seems like it's kind of funky. I'll go check. But today, he will. Today, he will uh, come finish rendering the inside of these things here. As you can see, the corners uh, were rounded out yesterday. So today, he will put a floor on this, on all three of them, render the inside, and also do a floor here. Now, what I had done in the past, because this was going to be uh, an herb garden. You can't see them, but I had put some holes along this here. So when it rained, it would have somewhere to drain. Otherwise, it would, everything would be waterlogged in here and roots would just rot and the herbs would die. So anyway, he should be done today. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay, so there it is. This uh, has been full of water for a little bit over a week. Now, the change that I made was right here. Now, the reason I added that is because since, since this does not have a uh, gutter, it fills this up. Now yesterday, I uh, got this pump and it just has a hose going in there to try it out. Now in the best of Thai tradition, This tank here, holding water. This part of the filter here, holding water. This uh, little waterfall thing here, holding water. And that tank right there, holding nothing. Let me show you. As you can see, yeah, right there. That corner there was not done very good. So it sucks up the water right through there and out it goes. Over here, right there, it's a little crack. And then of course this here It should have been right here in the middle, but that thing for some reason got put almost to the other side. And there's absolutely no way to run this thing over towards the middle anymore. So what we're going to do, we have some... Uh, we have some stuff, I don't remember what it's called, but you mix it up, turns it into a, well, it can be very, very runny or very thick, but either way, it, uh, you make it uh, to where it's kind of pasty, and you paint the whole inside of this thing, and that should uh, hopefully seal that. And then while we're at it, since I cut into the cement here, we'll use that thing and seal this also. 
yeah so hopefully that'll do it and of course right now because it's uh, Portland cement in there you can't put any fish in there and let me show you a little aspect of the good job here I'm gonna have to take the chisel and uh, yeah, yeah. chisel this thing out clean up the fence and repaint it because there's stuff from this 4x4 four four, all the way over to that 4x4 four four. why they got cement all the way down there I don't know but as you can see all of this is just full of it especially down here yeah anyway we should be able to do that uh, in the next few days and then it's just a matter of waiting the time for the um, the tank to be able to reach the pH to get all that uh, Portland cement stuff out of there and not kill the fish when you put them in there yeah I don't know how long that'll take but yeah it is what it is and one of these times it'll be there oh and the, and the one thing that I plan to do here is there's the pump it's sitting on top of a bucket but I'm gonna put it down uh, all the way to the bottom bring a hose like this up and into that tank and then underwater run the other pipe here and go up on top of course the other option is I run this hose run it to the bottom run it underneath here come up and go over across to the other side but I think this is better uh, we'll go up and down to the bottom go across underwater up and all the way down the tank so that when it filters it filters from the bottom up over this little thing into the center compartment and uh, water fall into here yeah all right we'll let you know how it works out thanks for watching see you next time see you bye bye